First, masting in the hanger. The mast is moved to within 10 to 15 feet of the nose cone. The winch operator on the mast hauls in sufficient line to remove the slack from the nose pendant. After the ground handling officer receives the ready aft signal from the petty officer aft, he makes sure that the airship is properly trimmed to meet the mast. If it is not, the man in the cockpit changes the trim according to the signals given by the ground handling officer. The ground handling officer then signals to the winch operator to take a strain on the hauling in line and orders the tractor driver to move the mast in slowly. As the mast moves closer, the top man guides the locking cup so that it will engage the nose cone on the airship. The mast is stopped and the winch operator is ordered to take another turn around the drum to pull the nose cone into the cup. After checking the locking lugs, the top man signals that the airship is locked on the mast. The ground handling officer orders the winch operator to slack off the hauling in line so that the nose pendant can be connected to the pelican hook. By means of the bottle screw, the nose pendant is tightened. And then the hauling in line is disconnected. The ground handling officer orders the nose handling lines to be secured. The airship is masted and ready for undocking. But before undocking, Wind must be taken into consideration. Wind constantly changes, both in direction and velocity, and is the single weather element that makes airship ground handling hazardous.